What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Freshman, back with another tutorial, and there's hella reverb in this room. <laughs> but anyways, so we just gonna jump right into it. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys pretty much um, song arrangement. Um, a few of you guys asked me how to like do proper song arrangements. And in my opinion, there's really not like a certain way, you feel me? Like, it's not like the old days, man. People need to start understanding like in this era right now, music is getting a lot more simple, and with simpleness, um, so I said simpleness, with simplicity, <laughs> when simplicity is out there, it's like, there's not, you're not going back to like doing, oh, okay, little bridge part, then this little solo part, and then all this little kind of creative ass parts as if you were songwriting. So let's just get that part for, um, down pack first. There's really not a, I, for me, when I hear music today, I don't really hear m much of a structure, unless it's like pop music and trap music. So what, like, mainly um the people that follow me, y'all do like a little bit of trap music, and I know you guys make other beats as well, but most of you guys are doing trap music, and I just want to let you guys know when it comes to trap music, it's like, it's really all about the vibes, and um. And there is a standard foundation that you could follow, um, and I'm a sh and that's like when you do your intro, like starting off with the intro, and you usually start your melody in the intro to get people, to get the listeners air because you know melody is the catchiest thing, and we want to hear that first. So I have my beat right here. I just have one section and the next section, and I'm just pretty much going to show you how to lay it out. Um, but for the most part, for you guys that really want to learn, I want y'all to go to a blank space, have something like right here or whatever. No, you don't even have to do all of that. Just click the metronome and then just hear it. Now I want you to count to four with it. So every tick, you're going to say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the tempo. A lot of you guys be asking me, like, hey, what's the tempo to this beat or whatever? Like, this, so this is, like, probably the first step you would want to know before you do a song arrangements. And the reason why I say this, because then in whatever genre that you're doing, all you have to do is just listen to the most popular songs in that genre and count the um, bars, and then you get to see how they split it up. You get to see how much um, bars they put in the intro, how much bars they put in the chorus, just by counting the rhythms, count, uh, counting the beat. So it's like, um, if you just go, so just do that. Like, just go to your um, favorite, like, song in your genre and just count the rhythms, like, one, two, three, four. And if you don't know how to count, um, or know where where to jump in. Remember, the snares is always going to land on two and four, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just go right here and count. One, two, three, four. 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 Yeah, so it lands on a four. Um, the way I was doing it, Initially, I was going a, l a little bit faster since we are in double time. But when you're counting music, um, so that's more a little bit complex to count double time. Not really, but for beginners, I would just say count this um, count where the snare hits on the two and the four, because essentially, it's still, it's not the same time. We we're not about to start this conversation. I know you guys already know with DJ Payne and everybody. At, from the difference from 140 and 70, come on, <laughs> we know we all know it's different, bro. And but we perceive it the same. That's all I could say as far as comparison. But enough talking. I'm gonna show you how I lay this one out. So once you do that method for a while, and not even for a while, man. If you do that for a week, then you're gonna start to understand. Like, oh, okay, this is how they do their intros. So like I said. Um, I only really have the piano. I don't have no melodies right now. This is not even a finished beat, but it's whatever. 
So, intro, I just put whatever you have. If you only have chords in your track and no melodies, then put the chords in the beginning. So, like this. Turn off the metronome. Now, like I said, when you do that method, you will see a pattern, and because music has a pattern, be um, usually the intro be about like four bars. Like remember, this is double time, so even though this will be kind of considered eight, it, you have to cut it in half. And um, so, like I said, for the most part, most of these songs be like four bar intros. Or if you hear some of Drake tracks like "Money in the Grave," I think that was about eight bars. Um, eight bars the most. I would definitely um, put a cap on that. Like eight bars the most. I want like if you're doing twelve bars in the modern day world and you're making trap beats or whatever, like people ain't trying to hear that. I mean, you can. I ain't gonna tell you what to do. Like you could do your little build up, but at, like I said, you wanna if you, if you're in a genre, then you gotta understand genre has its fundamentals, and that's why it, it is a genre. Like. You, you don't hear trap have an intro for 32 bars and then the shit drop. Like, that's rarely ever in any trap songs. We get straight to it, so continuing. So after this four bars, we just gonna go right into a hook or you could go into a verse. comes to chorus a chorus is usually eight bars you feel me so and like I said these are the standard numbers from me like doing this method like counting the beats in like most trap songs and most trap song has an eight bar hook and most songs in general kind of have an eight bar hook and um so the first four bars you want to make it one way and then the second um bar after that you just want to add a little bit more excitement to it or some you don't have to get so crazy you can even take out the kicks in the first part and then have the kicks hit in the second part and that just create that you know like it's building up to something just think in that terms of building up to something and i promise you it, you know it will flow a lot better so you will build up just think of it as a roller coaster you go up and then you go down. So the down part will be the verse. The verse is usually 12 to 16. People still do 16, so don't be um, afraid to do 16 or even eight. So you could just think eight, um, eight, 12, 16 for a verse. I wouldn't go really past that, you feel me? So I could just copy this. Um, and you wanna just take out a few things, not everything. Or you actually can take out everything, but then you don't want it to sound like the intro, so I'll probably just leave in a few things. So let's just see how this sounds. I don't even know why I just erased because they're not named. <laughs> Always name your stuff. Does that sound right, bro? always a good technique if try to um develop flows and like I said even if you just recite in the same lyrics of like your favorite rappers and just putting it on a beat do whatever flow you got to so you can see how it flows you know <laughs> it's just kind of that it's just that simple pretty much so like I'm gonna just mumble some shit so you know what I mean I am doing, I do it again. Doing, I do it again. Yeah, getting the money, I win. Yeah, all these niggas, they talking that shit. Don't want don't want me to sing. Yeah, killing these hoes, I'm killing these niggas. I carry a pole for all of these niggas. These niggas be talking that shit, and I'm back. I get the money, I get it like that. Hey, 
then so when that part dropped then you want to bring up the vibe again so I would just put back in the drums and shit yeah this part like I said roller coaster so it went down then up then down and then after and that's pretty much that's 12 bars me usually I like to just do 12 bar verses um you try to go crazy and I just copy and paste the um hook and then you could just really copy and paste the hook and the verse and then do your little outro but if you want to get all you know original and shit like I'll be saying then I guess you could add a bridge or do some kind of switch up at this part you know this but just always think of the sense as a roller coaster and the vibe and the emotion is and just do the method I told you from the before count the beats in your favorite songs and you'll get to see and that intro is simple man like you could just leave it like the intro or Ride it out with the bass, or ride it out with all the things and just fade it out. I mean, just fade it out like this. Just like that, man. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Share with your producer friends, and have a nice day.